This is Sarah, and this week I've been working on the actuator for Noodle's tongue. So I'm working on three different systems for Noodle's new big kid feet, and they all have to fit within the same, like, four by nine inch cylinder of space. So there's the toes, there's the tongue, and then there's the hydraulic system that's going to contain his drool. Last week, I figured out how to drive the actual toes themselves with use of a, a servo motor and then this planetary gear system on top. Basically, uh, as this rotates, the bumps press down on this ring here on top and you'll see the toes will pop out on the bottom. In the center right here, there's this gray piece and it's also spring-loaded in much the same way that the toes are, so if I press down on this, the, uh, the tongue will kind of poke out the bottom. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. So um, I'm gonna hold this up. Uh, this piece right here has uh, two motors mounted to it. The, uh, the one that I mentioned earlier, which drives the uh, planetary gear system, and then this new one that I just developed this week that uh, is going to hopefully drive this rack and pinion to press that bit in the middle downward. If all goes well, this assembly will mount on top of the uh, mechanism and both of these motors will drive the separate systems. It'll keep the very center clear for the fluid reservoir, which will contain noodles juice. So I hooked up the rack and pinion, the mini servo of the rack and pinion to noodles brain and I am driving it and it looks like it's working. Again, that is supposed to be the thing that uh, pushes the spring-loaded tongue in the center of Noodle's foot out the bottom. I'm still not sure if uh, this motor, this mini servo is gonna be uh, strong enough to press against the force of the springs and actually like move anything anywhere, but uh, this at least works and I can install it now on the apparatus and test it out. So I guess we shall see. All right, so it's uploading. The new code is uploading. Noodle's eyes are going to flash yellow, and then stuff's going to do. Oh god. Ah. Uh, all right, so we've got some tongue actuation going on down there, sorta. But I have to hold my hand over the little bracket thing that's holding the uh, rack to the pinion. If I if I go ahead and let go. It just kind of rides on top of it, which is bad and bad. It seems like the uh, motor is actually strong enough, but it's moving the entire assembly relative to the mechanism instead of staying put and pushing the uh, tongue out. So, uh, I don't know. I think definitely uh, the rack and pinion is not going to be the, uh, the way to go for this. I guess we do have some darting action at least. So, I mean, that's that's a small step in the right direction. <laughs> we'll get it, Noodle. I promise. So if you enjoy my videos and you like what I do, then consider supporting me on Patreon. There is a link below that is interesting and cool and you should totally click on it right now. It'll make Noodle really happy.